need. I got everything I need. Okay. This is what I'm going to say before I go in. Because it's going to be jokes for a minute. Then we're going to get serious. <sighs> need a deep breath. Let me tell you motherfucker something. Okay. Specifically, um, Ileana, Velvet, Silly Ass Anna. Okay. Don't, I'm not the one. Okay. And you know that. Don't play with me, yo. Don't be over there speaking my name into existence. Because I am the candy man of the internet. Don't play with me like that. Now, I'm going to just, I'm going to just show the little girl in you. Okay. I'm not even going to cook. Hold on, wait a minute. My motherfucking wig fucking up. Bitch, what? Bitch. It's my mother. What the fuck is this? Uh-uh. Chad, get right. Chad got... Y'all ain't never seen a white boy with an edge up like that. I got the clean edgy. Ooh. But anyway, all jokes aside, I'm finna show the little girl in you. Okay, I'm finna show how you're an immature little girl who don't know what the fuck she talking about. You on the internet about to get your stupid ass locked the fuck up next because you's a stupid ass fucking bird and you don't know when to shut the fuck up, okay? And so, nature boy, in case you don't know, dick dum dum, ding ding, fucking tweety bird head having ass little girl, he's locked up for being a cult leader. If you are trying to continue his work, okay, and you are trying to stand by him, okay, you will be next. Now, let's keep it a buck, Velvet, Ileana. Whatever the fuck you want to master chief this. Okay, let's keep it a buck. You help get your nigga locked up. Okay, you kept running to the embassy. You kept making videos saying you wanted to leave. You were secretly in contact with your father. Okay, sending him and talking to him about shit that was going on. Knowing he was telling the embassy. So you helped get Nature Boy out of there. So I don't understand why you don't act like. Uh, you don't act, you don't, you acting like you wasn't one of the main motherfucking pawns in the goddamn takedown of Nature Boy, which I said, when me and Nature Boy played chess, okay, if you need a reminder, I told Nature Boy, I said, nigga, you just throwing your queen on the board out there, and this gonna be your downfall in real life, okay, you gonna lose your queen on the board, okay, and what happened, his queen piece was his downfall, you is the main motherfucker who helped bring the spotlight on this nigga from that side, okay? So stop blaming this shit on the trolls. Stop blaming this shit on the internet. Because I know motherfuckers that was in my DMs that was pissed off. Because they was saying they was calling the FBI. And the FBI wasn't doing shit. So it wasn't the FBI, okay? From, from, from over here. It was y'all and it was you specifically, okay? You the one that broke up with this nigga a hundred times. And kept going live, knowing that your parents was recording. You is the one that went to the embassy and told them people what you told them people. So, bitch, get out of here and get off the internet trying to cry boo-hoo and woo-hoo and wah dee wah. Bitch, get out of here, bitch. And we about to, I'm about to get, I ain't even get to the receipts yet. But I just got to come in here and let you know. Bitch, I don't forget nothing. And just because I got off your head, don't mean I don't forget. I remember everything, bitch. I remember, I remember all of that. So, stop playing me with your stupid motherfucking Looney Tune forehead having ass with your motherfucking with your motherfucking Dankzilla <laughs> you Dankzilla face having ass trick keep my motherfucking name out your shit bitch I'm not I'm not none of that I'm not none of them weak ass niggas you used to fucking with okay you a corny ass bird and you was you was you was running to the embassy and running to your father okay giving your father and the embassy everything they needed to crash on this nigga okay when they start crashing on this nigga, okay, now you looking stupid, okay? Let's not forget, okay, when y'all was recording on live and he snatched your ass in the room and cut your motherfucking hair off. So you are just as responsible for that nigga downfall just as much as he is through his own actions. He was doing dumb shit and you was magnifying the dumb shit he was doing by keep going live and trying to get away from this nigga for, for us all to see. So, bitch, sit down with that Sesame Street ass motherfucking facade you trying to put on. Ain't nobody going for that. Now, what we finna do is we finna watch it. We ain't gonna watch this whole shit because I don't want to hear you talk that long. But we finna watch a good portion of you, okay, uh, allegedly, you know, giving us the update on his legal situation and the petition you, you trying to start. And I'm finna let your stupid ass know why your stupid ass is stupid 
and why that petition and your cries and pleas don't hold no weight. And I'm finna bust down how you don't even know what you're talking about, bitch. And you freestyling. You freestyling right now on the internet. So let me tell you what you, let me tell you the situation you put yourself in. And since you want to say my name, bitch, don't worry. Cause I will, I come on here to inform people. I don't come on here to, I, I don't debate with motherfuckers. I come with the facts. So let me, uh, let me, let me, let me keep it above. You are now a single mother. You have a daughter by a homosexual nigga that got herpes and HIV. Okay. So let me let you know, you had a baby by a homo. Okay, a woman beater and a pedophile. So you got the most despicable motherfucking baby father on the planet that anybody can have. Okay, and you finna be raising that child by yourself, bitch. Broke. Broke. By yourself. Okay, and if you don't shut the fuck up and get off the internet, somebody else besides you gonna be raising that kid because you gonna be right in jail with his ass. So, wake up. The games is over, okay? It's time for real life to kick in. It was fun while it lasted, and I told y'all retards it wasn't gonna last forever, okay? It was fun while it lasted. Now, it's time to put on your motherfucking big girl panties, okay? It's time to be a mother. You more worried about this nigga than you more worried about your daughter who he was motherfucking giving his semen to. So you's a trifling ass bitch. I don't have no respect for you because you let a nigga abuse, abuse a child and use a fucking dirt bag. And I have no respect for you at all. But what I am going to do is I'm going to inform you of the seriousness of the situation that you're in. So hopefully you wake up from this, from the internet fame and the funny shit. And you realize that bitch, this shit is real life, bitch. You about to be a single ass mother. You got a baby by a fucking pedophile slash cult leader. You going to forever be labeled your child and never be able to have a normal fucking life. Because your child finna grow up and, and everybody going to make fun of your daughter for being the motherfucker who dad is the motherfucker who said... He let his son play with his penis and was feeding her semen. So not only did you fuck up your life, you fucking up your daughter's life before she even get a chance to have one because your baby daddy a bitch. Okay? And so with that being said, let me get on your motherfucking ass real quick, bitch. And I got my motherfucking judge gavel because I'm finna show your bitch ass how this shit moving. Now, let me just straight play what you said and then I'ma inform your bitch ass. Okay? Then I'ma inform your dank head ass. Because apparently, bitch, you don't have a clue and you need one. So let me help your stupid ass get a clue. Let me help your dumb ass get a clue. Let me sit my gavel right here. Okay? And let me say this before I even start. I told you, and the rest of them retards over there, all y'all was was some pussy. Okay? All y'all was was some pussy. That's it. Now, why is this important? You don't have nothing to show for your relationship with Nature Boy. Not shit. You don't got a dollar. You don't got a business. You don't have nothing. Only thing you are is broke, dick down, with a homosexual pedophile name on your butt cheek. That's it. That's it. So, what kind of nigga, what kind of nigga gonna have a baby with a woman and don't put her in a position to win or be able to sustain herself outside of his existence? Come on now. You crazy as fuck. You crazy as fuck. You crazy as fuck. And so, you stupid. You stupid. And you didn't even have enough common sense to put yourself in a position where you can get your own, your own money and stability. So you one of the dumbest bitches I've ever seen with a phone and a camera to put themselves on the internet. You are a poor example of a female in regards to the, the situations that they, that they should put themselves in. It's a lot of dumbass bitches in the world and you like the mascot of dumbass bitches right now. The, the whole internet and the whole world just watched you willingly Listen, let me tell you who you are. All this chief this shit, and let me clear that up, because I'm I can't even get to the receipt yet. Let me tell you who you are. You are the bitch that cheated on her nigga with a homo slash pedophile, left her nigga for the no, excuse me, got pregnant by 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 Omec, the nigga who I'm talking about, had a magical miscarriage, probably had an abortion for the homo. Then you went with the homo, okay? Had a baby by the homo, okay? Yeah, and then, motherfucking, you let this nigga give you more STDs than you already had. Then you let the nigga force you into a lifestyle that you was not really with. Then you let the nigga beat your ass all across the motherfucking internet, okay? I've never seen a bitch domestically abused on the internet as much as I've seen you get domestically abused. And I promise you that's not a joke, okay? You let the nigga cheat on you, 
on the internet in front of everybody. You let this nigga slide in everybody DMs on the internet in front of everybody. You sat next to this nigga while this nigga told the entire internet that he likes trannies. And you sat next to this nigga and shook your head yes in agreement that it's okay for a man to like another man as long as he looks like a woman. Okay? And then you let the nigga convince you to feed semen to y'all child. And after all of this, now you trying to go hard for the nigga. After you just was trying to get away from the nigga. So, bitch, you are the mascot of clown-ass bitches. You the mascot of, stu of silly hoes on the internet. Don't get this shit fucked up. You can come on this motherfucker and talk all that motherfucking hoo-rah, hibbity blah hip ha wah wah bitch. No, ain't nobody. No, we know you. We know you. We know you. You a fucking goofy. You're a goofy, okay? You a goofy-ass bird. That's what you are. So don't get on this motherfucker yelling my name. I'm the I'm not the name you want to yell with your Tweety Bird head having that. And then you such a fucking You know I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna go there. I ain't even gonna go there. I ain't even gonna go there. Let me get my receipts ready. Let me get my receipts ready. Here we go. I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna go there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not even gonna go there. Hold on one sec. Hold up one sec, y'all. Hold up one sec. Hey, I'm on I'm on Instagram Live right now, you heard? Okay, weirdo. Okay, I hit you back. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. Boom. Let's jump in this motherfucker. <sighs> Orange juice makes my motherfucking heart beat, bitch. Let's go. They in the comments saying, please go there. Now, I'm not going to go there because then everybody be acting like Pharaoh's so mean and he be so mean and he be bullying people. So I be trying to tone it down so people don't be scared of me for no reason. You know what I mean? Whatever. 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 Let's go. Okay, silly. This silly ass bird. Okay? This video right here is called Ileana... Uh, says Elysio Bishop being held illegally starts online petition to free Nature Boy. Now I'm finna knock this bitch head off and everything that she got to say. Here we go. It's reflections. I'm not your reflection, bitch. Let's keep it moving. Skip forward. Skip forward. It's Look at reflections. Stressing. Okay, so today is the update. Um, um, I know that uh, maybe the day before yesterday, we posted a, a meme saying that there was going to be an update. So much has transpired since that day. It's, mm -hmm. it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell y'all everything that happened. Yeah, let us know. Mind you, she don't even know everything that happened. I'm sitting here, got to tell this bitch about what's happening because she don't even know. Now, let me, let me let her tell y'all what she think is happening, and I'm going to tell y'all what's really happening. Let's keep it moving. Prior to me putting up the update meme, we were doing everything that we could with our lawyer to get the release of Chief. Okay. Now, we, I'm going to correct this situation in a minute, okay? So, hold that. Hold on to that thought. Let's keep it moving. So, this is what we had to go through. Okay. First of all, Chief is still currently locked up in the Nicaraguan police station. We good. Good. We are still bringing him food every three times a day. Um, and every Tuesday, I go to see him. I've only seen him twice since he's been in there. Good. Um, and that's only on Tuesdays for 30 minutes. So I have seen Chief two times since, uh, since all of this transpired. The first time I talked to him... I was telling him, like, everything that was going on, um, some of the things that we need to do to get him released and everything like that. Had she don't even know what she need to do to get him released. And I'm finna, I'm finna give y'all... Wait, let me flip the screen back to you. Back to me. She don't even know what she need to do to get this nigga released. But, long story short, I'm finna tell y'all, bitch, that nigga not getting... Bitch, nothing you do is gonna get this nigga released. Y'all keep talking about embassies and lawyers, bitch. A lawyer, listen, let me, let me, let me let her finish talking just a little bit more, then I'm going to jump in and KO this bitch whole theory. You are, let me tell you something, you, are, you, you like a fucking 16, 15 year old in your mind. And to you, 
you still think you have some form of con of power and control. Bitch, if you don't wake up out of this nature boy motherfucking spider web spell you in, that nigga not getting out of jail. Fuck is wrong with you? And I'm finna tell you why. No amount of lawyer money, no weak ass petition that you create is gonna help. Okay? So let me let you keep talking a little bit more, and then I'm gonna come whoopsie and knock your motherfucking head off with your stupid ass. Okay? Clown ass. Let's keep it moving. To wait all the way until next week for another Tuesday to see him again and have a meeting with him again. So much is going on. He doesn't really know everything that that's going on out here and what's transpiring out here because the police station doesn't want him to have contact with anybody. He can't make phone calls. Exactly. He can only receive food and one visit a week. And the bitch don't deserve that. Starve that nigga to death. But let's keep it moving. From anyone, he, he wants to for 30 minutes for one week. So his contact is like very limited at this point. And um, the last time I seen him, which was on Tuesday, um, I was telling him there were a very, very high chance of us actually getting him out. And I can't. Okay, now I can't wait to hear this shit. I cannot wait to hear this bitch say what the high chance was for them getting her out. So I can, so I can just jump on this bitch head. Let's go. Run the story by y'all. Um, run it. It was run a it. very high chance of us getting him out. What was it? What was that the chance? That day and the next. Oh, that day. day? And the next day. That day and the next day, huh? Okay, let's hear. It. After that, so what had happened was. What happened? Uh, I seen him. I seen Chief, and I was telling him, look, we got the lawyer, we got the judge. What lawyer and what judge? Let me run this. This bitch living. Listen, y'all. This shit. This shit is, like, really scary, though. Like, how this bitch is, how this nigga got these people convincing themselves that they have power in areas that they don't. This bitch just said she got the lawyer and she got the judge. Skew me? Skew me, bitch? Now, I'm finna, listen. A lot of y'all just laughing because that sound funny. But y'all forget this bitch is in Nicaragua. They system don't work how our system how our system works. They system works off of executive power. You know what the fuck executive power is? It's when the president of Nicaragua is not only the head of the state, he's the head of the government. Now let me give let me give you fuck it. I was gonna wait. Let me just get let me just get y'all the breakdown now so y'all can understand where I'm going with this. Nicaragua ain't democratic, none of that shit that, that like like we are over here in the US. The US has three different branches of government. In order to make sure that power is evenly distributed as an executive branch, a legislative branch, and a judicial branch. Now, let me break this shit down for y'all. The executive branch is the presidential branch. This is where the president can veto, he can shut down the law, he can power the motherfucker, that type of shit. The legislative branch, okay, is where laws and legislation gets created. This is the branch of government that decides who we go who, who we go to war with, etc. So this is basically Congress, okay? Or what else you or what else, or otherwise known as House of the Senate. Then you got the judicial branch, which is the ju the judicial system, whether it be criminal, uh civil, you know, the courtrooms and all that type of shit. Now these three branches are divided evenly so that way nobody can gain too much power. Now why is this important? Nicaragua don't work like that, bitch. Our president over here only has power in the executive branch. We can impeach that motherfucker. In Nicaragua, the president over there, he's all three of them branches. He has executive power. The reason that we have three different branches of government over here is so that the president doesn't have executive power. So basically, it's a dictatorship over there in, in so many words. So when the Nicaragua government say that nigga is in jail, he's in jail. It's not no lawyer. It's not no judge. See, she's speaking from a judicial branch perspective. Talking about we got the lawyer and we got the judge. Bitch, ain't no motherfucking judicial branch over there, bitch. It's what the Nicaragua, it's what the Nicaragua government says. They said that nigga is in jail, bitch. That nigga's in jail. What you talking about? Some lawyer and some motherfucker. And then y'all keep talking about calling the U.S. Embassy. Bitch, you can't call the U.S. Embassy, bitch. What you talking about? Let me, let me remind you. That white boy who went over there to China, and he's, I think he either broke or stole some shit out of one of them museums. They gave that motherfucker 15 years. It wasn't shit the U.S. Embassy can do because he, they, don't give a, they don't give a fuck outside this country. Just like if somebody come over here and fuck some shit up, we don't give a fuck. Fuck you talking about. So all of that call the U.S., who the fuck you think the U.S. is? 
They killing motherfuckers in the Dominican Republic with poison and, and uh, poison chemicals that's solidifying in people's stomachs as they drink it. Do you see the U.S. Embassy able to do something about that? No, because if it's not on your own soil, you pretty much don't have no motherfucking power to tell somebody else how to run their own country unless you're willing to go to war with them motherfuckers. So I doubt that the United States of America is willing to go to war and issue military action in order for the return of a nigga that they looking for, for sexual motherfucking assault. That nigga got a warrant over here for sexually assaulting a minor, a.k.a. his little cousin. And you trying to call over here to get him free for doing the same shit over there? Bitch, what are you talking about? Why you on this camera lying? Why you on this camera lying? Why don't you just get on this motherfucker and tell the truth? Get on this motherfucker and say, we don't need donations for a lawyer. We need donations because we fucking going broke. Because Nature Boy was the nigga controlling all of the motherfucking money. Now that that nigga's in jail, we going broke. I don't know what's going on with that nigga. Because I barely have any contact with that nigga. And I'm panicking. And I'm a single mom in a foreign country with a group of motherfuckers that I don't really like. How about you tell the real, the real story, bitch? How about you give the real narrative? Get the fuck off the internet trying to act like you got it together. You don't got it together. You do not got it together. I'm going to tell you right now what you're going through. Bitch, you don't know what's going on because you're not talking to that nigga and you don't speak Spanish, bitch, so shut up. That's the truth. You don't got no motherfucking money for no motherfucking lawyer because ain't no motherfucking lawyer from over here going over here to represent shit. Fuck is you talking about? You just tell the truth. Bitch, you broke. And you don't you don't want to ask for money directly because you know ain't nobody fucking with y'all. So you want to act like it's for him, okay? It's for him because you know he got more dummies following him than you. Okay? Keep it a buck. You say I'm broke as hell. I'm a single mom and, and I need some help because I put myself in a situation that I can't get out of. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. You on this internet talking to motherfuckers like motherfuckers was born yesterday or something. And then you got the nerve to say my name of all names like, bitch, I'm not a, I'm damn near not a motherfucking cyborg. Bitch, I, I analyze and read everything on a whole nother motherfucking I don't even know how I do this shit. I just do it. My shit just... Brrr, and, and, and I'll break shit down. So, bitch, you tripping. Okay, now let's get back to the video so she can prove my point on why I just gave that, gave that understanding. I seen him, I seen Chief, and I was telling him, look, we got the lawyer, we got the judge, we got everything that we need right now so that... What lawyer and what judge do you have? I'm, I'm curious to fucking know. Okay, I'm curious, but let's keep it moving. We can um, put in place a demand for your release, and I was telling him everything that was transpiring and stuff like that, and he's like... You know, everything is getting even more intense because of the fact that um, they're holding him illegally and they're not letting him go. Like, they're not letting him go. Now, I want to know how are they illegally holding this motherfucker. See? See? Now, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tell y'all how they're not illegally holding this nigga. Okay? Let me tell you how they're not illegally holding him. Okay? All of Nature Boy's charges. Okay? Because he got way more than sex crime charges, okay? Everything that I said he did, he ended up getting charged with. From the money laundering, okay? Let's not forget that money laundering. If y'all need a reminder, okay? Go back to when I broke down uh, how he took that $300,000 that $300, from Keys. Remember, that was from Keys' dead mother bank account that they snuck and opened back up, okay? So... Nature Boy is in way more trouble than just what niggas think. That nigga getting child with sex he getting charged with sex trafficking crimes for, for taking his daughter from one place to another without the proper paperwork. That nigga getting charged with sexual abuse of a minor on multiple accounts. Most of the shit he getting charged with is shit he said out of his mouth on the internet. So what are you talking about? If a nigga get on here right now, if a bank get robbed and a nigga get on the internet and say, yo, I robbed the bank. What you talking about? And somebody in the comments said donation fraud. I was getting ready to get to that. Donation fraud. Okay? So let's just run down the list. Money laundering, donation fraud, child abuse, sexual abuse of a minor, motherfucking physical abuse, being an admitted cult leader and being a cult leader. Okay? But outside of all of that shit, okay, let's just come back to what he got snatched for. Okay? Or, or no, the procedure and how he got snatched. So I can teach you something. Listen to me real quick. Let me be your master teacher for two seconds with your dank head ass, okay? The police did not come to his house and take him without informing him why they were taking him. Excuse me, law enforcement, 
Okay? They came to his house on point. They didn't barge in. Y'all let them in. I, we all sat here and watched the video. Y'all, they came in and inquired about criminal activity via a phone call that they received. Okay? During that inquiry, he allowed them to come into the location or the scene of the crime, allegedly, and further continue their investigation. Bitch, that's not, that's not illegal. If the police come to my house right now and they say, yo, the neighbors said they hear a kid in here screaming. And I say, ain't no kid in here screaming. Come on and look. And they come look and they find five tied up kids. You cannot say, oh, they came to my house illegally. No. They're, the reason for their presence outside of all of the other shit he was being investigated for. If we throw all that shit in the garbage. The reason for their presence was the phone call. Okay. That's probable cause. Y'all motherfuckers always talking about something. And I know that they don't go by our laws, but I have to speak in our, our lingo so y'all understand. They established probable cause when they came to your motherfucking house, okay? And they made an inquiry and you allowed them in, okay? And you allowed them in. Now, I don't know over there if they respect the Fourth Amendment and all of that because over here we know that the police just can't come in your house off a call. But if we was to put our legal or legislative system in place of what we seen, nigga, that was tech. That was textbook police work. Motherfucker, hats off to the goddamn Nicar Nicar Nicaragua, Nicaraguan police police motherfucking uh, department. We talking about they came, uh, made their inquiry about why they was there, were allowed to come in and make the motherfucking uh, I mean, and further the investigation on their call, examined the crime scene, took that nigga, and he's gone. And then, and then another thing that's killing me is we don't know if that nigga made a confession. Show us some paperwork. If he's been arrested, where's his statements at? We know he made some statements. So how about this, Velvet? Next time you get on the internet, okay, show the motherfucking police statements. Show the police report. Don't And we don't want to hear nothing about it. It's not in English, bitch. We can translate. Don't worry. We can translate. Show the, what did Nature Boy say during investigation? Or, excuse me, interrogation. What did he say when you, because I know for a fact they went and got a translator and interrogated that ass. Okay? So, why you only why you only on here trying to give one piece of the story, bitch? We got real criminals on this motherfucker and ex criminals such as myself who know how this shit go. Don't come on this motherfucker trying to play with me. Talking about some I got that lawyer. If I was in jail and you was my girl and you came to visit me and you told me, baby, don't worry about it. I got the lawyer and I got the judge. We gonna get you out. I would be like, bitch, get out this month guard. Guard, CO, end my motherfucking visit and put this bitch on the block list. Don't let this bitch come back up in here because this bitch playing with my motherfucking emotions right now. I'm fighting for my motherfucking life. And you talk, and this bitch in here talking about she got the lawyer in the judge. Who the fuck is you, bitch? Pablo Wahanda? Who the fuck is you? Pablo Maria, dog? You think you motherfucking Juan Maria? Who the fuck is you? 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 In this month, can you imagine this? What kind of little girl shit is going on in your mind? I got the motherfucking lawyer and the judge, babe. Don't worry. Guard. In this motherfucking visit right now, because I'm about to catch an assault on this motherfucking visiting floor. I'm about to knock this bitch right off this motherfucking visiting shit. This bitch in here playing with me. Bitch, don't come visit me talking about you got the lawyer and the judge. Who the fuck you think playing, bitch? I'm in this bitch. I'm in this bitch feeling like R. Kelly. I'm in this bitch fighting for my motherfucking life. And y'all playing with me. That nigga in there having an R. And speaking of R. Kelly, wasn't Nature Boy just defending R. Kelly? Wasn't he saying that he respects R. Kelly? Now, ain't it funny that him and R. Kelly damn near went down, if not the same week, a week apart? If y'all think these this shit ain't strategic, they went and got all of the weirdos and cult leaders during the same time. Y'all think that's by a mistake? Y'all think that's by a mistake? Come on, man. Same nigga talking about something he respect R. Kelly. I'm glad you respect R. Kelly, bitch, because y'all niggas finna be bunkies in a minute. Okay? But let's keep it moving. Let me get back to her. Let me let me let her say this dumb shit so I can knock her head off in a minute. And, um, nigga, that boy has his own uh, situation when it comes to that, so... Now, when she say it's his own situation when it comes to that, she don't have a full understanding, but basically it's what I just told y'all about the president of Nicaragua having executive power. Okay? Let's keep it moving. Us any information on why they're holding him. They See, they won't give us any information on why they're holding him. They won't give us any information on a case if it is a case on. On a case if it is a case, which they 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 are, but they just not talking to your ass as much as they have to 
I mean, more than they have to because they don't have to. Bitch, you're not a citizen. Listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You're not a citizen over there. You're not a legal resident over there. Technically, bitch, you're an alien over there. Okay? Once you outstay the amount of time that you're supposed to be over there. So they can ignore your ass for three to six months. And, bitch, you got to come back to the U.S. Your visa ain't, your visa ain't, and your passport ain't, ain't, ain't sufficient for you to be living over there. Bitch, they don't have to tell you nothing, bitch. I can't get on a flight right now and go to Russia and go to the police station and demand that they tell me anything that's going on with their legal operations. That's what the U.S. Embassy is for, okay? But you know why you can't contact the U.S. Embassy? Because the U.S. is looking for that nigga too. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Who the fuck is you? You just a foreign motherfucker in a foreign land making foreign demands. Bitch, if you don't get off this internet but they come lock your bean pie head having ass up too with your stupid ass bitch, you crazy. You stupid. Now, now let, me, let me run it back. Let me keep it moving. On them, they won't give us information on investigated or if there's an investigation. They don't want to talk to us completely. They don't want to talk to us. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, well, we're his immediate family. Like, no, y'all not. We are with him. And now, let me run this back. Let me run this back. Let me run this back. This bitch is delusional. This bitch, this bitch trying to take that cult mentality into these people's foundation. Since when are you his immediate family? Bitch, do you know what immediate family is? Do you know what immediate family is? Who the fuck is you? Bitch, his last name ain't Marquez. How are you his immediate family? Please explain this shit to you. I want to know. I want to know how any one of you motherfuckers over there, besides the baby, is related to him. How are you his immediate family? You Bitch, you're not even his legal wife. He didn't even marry your dumb ass. You're not even his wife. If they say right now, okay, listen, produce documentation to show that you his wife. You can't even do that. But yet you, his immediate family, bitch, you're delusional. You're delusional. Oh, you're wasting your time. Let me tell you something, Velvet. That nigga about to go to jail. No, excuse me. That nigga went to jail. You about to go to jail. Bitch, get off the internet. It's over. Bring your stupid ass back to the United States, lick your wounds, live the rest of your motherfucking life as the best mother that you can be. That's what the fuck you need to do, okay? All this extra Coretta Scott shit you trying to do, Asada Shakur, this ain't it, bitch. You stupid. You a, you you been flexed and finessed, you been fucked and ducked. That's it. You been fucked and ducked and flexed and finessed, okay? Nature Boy don't give a fuck about you or that kid. Let me, let me remind you of that, okay? He was getting ready to curb your stupid ass just because you didn't want to let him talk to more than one female. So, bitch, don't get this shit twisted nor fucked up. He don't give a fuck about you. That, nigga's in, that nigga is exactly where fuck niggas belong besides the graveyard, okay? And so that nigga is in the second best, he's in the second best place that he deserves to be. And you finna be next to him if you don't get off the internet yapping your flappers. Stay on this internet yapping your flappers. Stay on this internet yapping your flappers, okay? Okay? With your fake ass coconut pineapple conscious wanna be head having that. Okay? Get the fuck out of here. Let's keep it moving. You know, we're up here every single day. I have this child. Why wouldn't you want to talk to us? Especially Cause you not nobody, bitch. That's why they wouldn't want to talk to you. Who the fuck is you? They don't even want to talk to him. He probably in there stanking. They probably gotta force that nigga to wash up with his stanking ass. Let's keep it moving. If you're insinuating or may think that we're being done something or, you know, we're being done something by him. And so these are my thoughts that's going through my head. And they're like not they're not taking any outside information. Like, you know, now let me correct this bitch again real quick. I'm sorry, y'all, to make so many corrections. She talking about some. Why wouldn't they want to talk to me if they insinuating that something's been done to me by him? Bitch, why would anybody? Who's a valid investigator want to talk to a shaky witness? Why? Why would they want to talk to a bitch that's clearly getting beat the fuck up on camera and then run into their own embassy and then going back? Bitch, do you know how many times you didn't made these the exact accusations that they making against Nature Boy? Do you know how many times you made those accusations and then recanted on them and then made them and then recanted on them? Okay, let me give you an, let me give you 
Uh, let me give you an example of the accusations that you've made. Okay, that in that have been in conjunction to the accusations that they're making. Sexual abuse. Okay, an abuse period. Abuse is not just physical. It's psychological and emotional, okay? And and forcing people to do things against their will, okay? So if they're saying that Nature Boy has been abusing people and forcing people to do things against their will, okay? Let's say, let's see if you didn't say this first. What about that time, uh, and I'm trying to be serious here without laughing. What about that time when you said you didn't like the way that the other girl's vagina smelled, and that's why you didn't want to do the poly, Okay, because y'all got horrible fucking hygiene over there. That shit ain't got shit to do with poly. Y'all just some nasty bitches. But long story short, you said you didn't want to do the poly because they smelt nasty and you didn't like the way it smelt during sex. Okay, and he told your ass on live in front of all of us that basically is his way or the highway. Okay, and he admitted on live to your pussy ass dad. Excuse my language, but it is what it is. Okay, because ain't no nigga going to tell me. He busts my daughter nose, and I'm going to go over there and go out to eat with a nigga. So this ain't no, I ain't going to say it's disrespect or it's not. All I know is I, a nigga not going to tell me he punched my daughter in the face, and I'm going over there and we going out to eat. I would have been the first motherfucker locked up in Mexico because it would have it would have been, it would have got real bloody. But long story short, okay, he told you on live with your dad that he bust you in your shit. So that's not only physical abuse he's admitted to. It's sexual, psychological, and emotional abuse, okay? Now he's being charged with the same things that you've not only said out your mouth, but motherfucking that, he said out his own mouth. And now you want to motherfucking, uh, what you gonna call it? Sit here and cry and be like, why y'all don't want to talk to me? Why would they want to talk to you? Why would they want to, why would they want to talk to you? Why would they want to talk to you? I wouldn't want to talk to you either. Use a fucking fool, okay? And so, you know, y'all niggas is crazy. Y'all niggas is crazy. Y'all niggas crazy. Whoever the fuck Cherry Bomb is in my comments, I don't know who that is, who, who paid that is. Get the fuck out of my comments telling me who and who not to bring up, okay? Talking about something, leave Mr. Marquez out of it. I could, I could say what the fuck I want to say, okay? What you talking about? It's on the internet. We all seen it. What you talking about? Y'all act like I'm bullying Mr. Marquez. I could, this is his motherfucking dog. Listen, if a nigga... Beat my motherfucking daughter ass and tell me he beat her motherfucking ass and tell me that he her daddy now and I get a chance to pop up on this nigga without this nigga knowing I'm there. What? The last thing we doing is going out to eat. So for all of y'all mother, like I said, ain't nobody attacking Mr. Marquez. Ain't nobody trying to start no internet beef with Mr. Marquez or none of that, none of that shit. I'm speaking on what we all seen. I wish a nigga would. The shit I'm going to do, I can't even say. Because that might have a nigga at my motherfucking door. I'm going to tell you what, though. Punch my motherfucking daughter in her mouth and tell me you did it. And then tell me you her daddy now. You her family now. And then and then give me the opportunity to pop up on you without you expecting it. The last place we going is out to eat, motherfucker. What you talking about? I seen it. I seen it. Just like everybody else seen it. So, he pops could be cool. That's cool. Ain't nobody saying, if y'all like Pops, y'all like Pops. I'm not saying he's not cool. All I'm saying is what I would have did. That's all I'm saying is what I would have did. Okay? Ain't nobody punching my motherfucking... Man, y'all niggas crazy. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Y'all got me fixing my fake ass wig. Y'all niggas crazy out there. Y'all niggas crazy. Y'all niggas crazy. Y'all niggas crazy. And let me say this too since I'm on the subject, dog. Let me say this, and I can say this, because I'm a father with children, okay? Let me say this. Y'all niggas always talking that revolutionary shit. Y'all niggas is pussy. Y'all niggas ain't gonna do nothing but be the slave-ass niggas that y'all are. You know why? Because we live in a world where y'all niggas can't stop a lame-ass nigga like Nature Boy. How y'all think y'all gonna stop the 1% or the Illuminati or the government? We live in a world where... A nigga can get told by another nigga that he beating on his daughter and, and, and sexually abusing his daughter, okay? And told her dad that he her daddy now, okay? And I can't speak on how wrong that was for him letting that slide. So what y'all niggas keep talking about some revolution and some changes, and I can't even speak on a little nigga situation. What y'all talking about? So y'all niggas whack. So 
Y'all niggas keep breathing in them chemtrails and keep drinking that fluoride with y'all pussy asses because y'all niggas pussy. And if you on here telling me that motherfucking, uh, whatchamacallit, somebody said that that was after he left. No, it wasn't after he left. Motherfucker, what are you talking about? When Nature Boy told Ileana dad that he was her daddy now, that was be I was still jumping on Nature Boy head when he said, I already never forget. They was outside. I don't know where that nigga was at. Okay, he was at that first Airbnb that he got uh ran out of, okay? He was outside, and it was just him and Velvet. And he was like, I'm her daddy now, okay? Because Velvet sister had got on too. And he and that's when he was, uh, it was around the same time he went live with her sister, and he told her sister that she was fine as hell. What you talking about? And her grandma was there. So get out of here trying to, trying to, trying to make excuses and trying to cat, motherfucker. I know everything that happened. I was the, I was the main. I'm the main motherfucker besides Ashe Divine that dunked this nigga on his head. So he violated Velvet Dad before he went over there. Fuck is y'all talking about? And then niggas went over there and motherfucking uh went out to eat. Get the fuck out of here, man. Fuck is y'all talking about? Crazy as hell. Y'all crazy as hell. Y'all got me fucked up. Let's keep it moving. You know, so um, it's a very difficult. And sticky situation when it comes to uh, our situation right now. So uh, he just told me that day, he told me to do anything that I can. Listen, let me flip the camera back one more time. Why y'all keep saying that shit happened after he went over there? No, it didn't. When Nature Boy had Ileana screaming and he cut her motherfucking hair, that was before. What the fuck is y'all talking about? Do y'all know how many times Nature Boy has beat Ileana ass on camera, dog? Y'all niggas got me fucked up. Do you know how many times she done came on this motherfucker with black eyes? Which, why y'all keep saying it was after? And it shouldn't have been no after. If I come over here, I'm leaving with my daughter. And if my daughter don't want to leave, it don't matter because nigga, I'm going to leave with you in the hospital. So what's wrong with y'all? Y'all niggas is stupid. Y'all niggas make a, this is all y'all weak motherfuckers in the comments trying to give an excuse for a nigga being weak. Oh, it was after. He beat her ass after. He beat her ass before too. Motherfucker, fuck is you talking about? Fuck is you talking about? And Velvet don't, somebody just made a good point. I was just going to say it out of my mouth. Velvet don't respect her dad. And now I see why. Because that nigga ain't, he not bringing no pain. Apparently, I'm bringing pain on homicidal levels. If a nigga put their hands on my, I, listen, I'm going to tell you niggas what. In 18 years, try it. In 18 years, try it. Don't think I'm going to be old. I'm not going to be old. Nigga, do not think I'm going to be an old nigga. I'm not going to be, I'm going to be one of them strong ass 30-something year old niggas that'll beat your ass, nigga. Do not get me fucked up when I'm 38. Do not, when I'm 40, do not think I'm going to be one of them old, I'm going to be beating the shit out of y'all young ass nigga. When my daughter gets 16 to 18, punch her in her face and tell me you did it and see what happened. I don't give a fuck about no murder charge, nigga. What? I, bitch, I'll get mine gladly. Punch my motherfucking daughter in the face and see what happened. I'm going to fuck one of y'all niggas up. That's on my... That's on my motherfucking... Punch my daughter in the face. I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to murk one of you niggas. I'm not playing with y'all niggas. Y'all niggas got me fucked up. But with that being said, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. And so that um, we can see him release. This is why we came up with a petition. Um, we have other uh, social media... Now she's talking about she coming up with a petition. A petition that's only valid in the U.S. Outside of Nicaraguan jurisdiction. But let's keep it moving. It's like... All of the big social medias, like all the news and news articles and stuff like that, we're going to be hitting up so that we can put our story online, so that we can tell everybody, like, there's this new thing called, uh, what is it called when the um, cyberbullying is called um, gangster gang, gang stalking. It's this new thing going around called gang stalking, and it's uh, another form of, it's cyberbullying. It's just in another form, and what these people do online is that they gang up in these groups and they stalk people especially people of like high figures and stuff like that um and they cyber bully them they make up lies about them they say all of this stuff and they blasphemy you know upon whatever it is that they're doing and they say all of these lies and stuff like that so uh, it's called gang stalking and that's exactly what's happening cyber bullying so uh we're willing to tell our story we're willing to get in touch with bbc cnn um pause Bitch, did you just say BBC? Didn't BBC do an article on y'all dummies for being cult leaders? 
So what you let me let me tell you how stupid this bitch is. She's speaking out of desperation, okay? She's speaking out of out of out of emotional discourse right now. She's emotionally irrational. Let me tell you why this bitch sounds stupid, okay? Let me tell you how this conversation is gonna go. Hi, welcome to BBC. How may we help you? Oh, hi, how are you? This is stupid ass Velvet, aka Chief this aka Ileana, and I'm the dumbass bitch. That was married to the nigga that, I mean, that, you know, is fake married and the wife of the nigga that y'all did a whole motherfucking documentary on for being a cult leader, okay? Oh, and he actually got his ass locked up for the same shit that y'all said he was doing plus more, but we think he's innocent and we want y'all to go fight for his innocence. Sorry, bitch. You called the wrong fucking number. We don't give a fuck about that nigga. We, our intentions was to get him locked up. This is why we blew up the fact that he was doing cult shit. So that it can be noticed on a national scale and get the attention of the same motherfuckers that seen it and took action and locked his ass up. So thank you, bitch, for letting us know that we did our job. Goodbye. That's exactly how that conversation is going to go. So you sound stupid right now. Oh, we getting a petition. Oh, we going to call BBC, NBC. We going to call Chris Hansen. Sorry, bitch. You going to jail. Where's my motherfucking shit? You're going to jail, bitch. Life. <laughs> Life. Let me tell you what's about to happen right now. In the case of uh, Nature Boy, a.k.a. Elysio, fucking sexual, se motherfucking child trafficking, motherfucking ass nigga. Life. Life. Don't even read that nigga charges. Just read his name. Such and such. Uh, indictment number such and such. Life. Nigga, fuck your charges. Nigga, you don't get no arraign. Don't even arraign that bitch. Life. Take that bitch. Don't even get. Lose that nigga in the system. I don't give a fuck. Lose that nigga number. When we call and write, send that nigga, send my shit back and be like, that nigga ain't in this jail. Lose that nigga. Y'all know what niggas be getting lost in the city. Lose that nigga in Nicaragua somewhere. Loot. Life. Life, bitch. And if you keep playing, keep playing, bitch. Listen, let me tell you something. All jokes aside, because y'all know I get on here and this shit be funny as hell. But all jokes aside, I'm being serious right now for like the next 10 seconds. Everything that I've said has come true. Because I got I got quarterback vision when it comes to life. I can li I, listen, y'all. No cap. This ain't no ego shit or nothing. This is just me and me knowing myself. I can see some shit and project exactly what that action is going to cause and affect in the next five to ten years. And it always be right. It always be right. And I'm not one of them niggas who like to say I'm always right. But I'm always right. I'm always right. Listen, bitch. If you don't get off this internet, bitch. You going to life. <laughs> life, bitch. You going to get life. Keep playing. You going to be right with that nigga in Nicaragua. Eating Nicaraguan sandwiches and shit. Okay? Keep playing. But well, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Tell me how she going to call CNN. Bitch, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Let me keep it moving. Let me flip it back. Here we go. Let's keep it moving. News, Fox News, any news, any any media that's like really big to tell our story because at the end of the Mind you, all of the news stations that she's naming are American. They don't give a fuck about y'all, bitch. They don't. What are you talking about? You think they give a fuck about you? Let's keep it moving. They, he's in a Nicaraguan jail for no reason. And so this is, this was... How is he in there for no reason? Tell us no... How you gonna tell us no reason when you the same bitch who was trying to hide the charges that he had? You didn't tell us he was in there for sexual child abuse. We had to go put that on the internet, okay? So get the fuck out of here. Let's keep it moving. The last conversation on Tuesday that me and him talked about, and of course he's like telling, he wants me to tell y'all that he loves y'all, that he's thankful for all the support out there that, that we have been getting from all of the people who's donating to us, all the people who's signing the petition, all the people who's supporting combination, because at the end of the day, this is... At the end of the day, y'all going to jail with them motherfuckers. Surprise! Now, let me, let me, uh, put this in your motherfucking teacup for you to sip. Hold up. Listen, Nature Boy is a known cult leader. If you have been funding and financing a cult leader, bitch, you're getting investigated too. That means Mike Brown. Mike Brown. That means all you dumb mother... Let me take my chat off real quick. I'm getting hot, okay? That means Mike Brown. That means all of you stupid motherfuckers on the internet that have been donating money and all of that dumbass shit. Y'all motherfuckers go is, is being looked at too, okay? That's like me running a cult. 
And let's say I'm doing some shit like child trafficking. Okay? And y'all have been funding my criminal operation. I don't give a fuck how far are you away you think you live. They coming, they looking at you too. You you funded me for me to be able to do the shit that I do. What, what's wrong with y'all? Y'all about to go to jail too. All y'all motherfuckers that be in the comments like, Chief, not a pedophile. This nature. Oh, bitch, you being looked at. Believe that. Believe that. Believe that. Believe that. I hope they come arrest every motherfucker that follow that motherfucker. If you follow nature, boy, they need to just delete your motherfucking... They need to just come arrest your bitch ass for following that nigga. Okay? Life. They need to come over there and just give all y'all motherfuckers forever. <laughs> Yo. You know how a nigga... You know how a nigga citizenship say... Say they time, your shit don't even need numbers. That shit just need to say forever. They need to do a motherfucking, listen, they need to do a ritual and trap and seal that nigga soul into that cell. So when that nigga die, that nigga cell, that nigga soul just stuck in that cell like on the 13 ghosts. That nigga can't never leave. That nigga need to, that nigga need to get sentenced to eternity. That nigga need to get, that nigga reincarnation cycle need to get put on that mother. They need to prick that nigga finger and put that motherfucker hand on that motherfucking indictment. Okay? So that that nigga take a blood oath to that motherfucking sin. They need to give that nigga forever. They need to give that nigga for all of eternity. They need, nigga Thanos fingers ain't gonna be able to get that nigga out of jail. Uh, the motherfucking gauntlet. The Infinity Stones ain't gonna get that nigga. It's not enough reality in them reality stones to get that nigga. They need to give that nigga. They need to give that nigga until. <laughs> they need to give that nigga till all of the atoms go away. Until physical reality is no longer a thing. That's how long they need to give that nigga a, a motherfucking sentence. And and you keep playing, you're gonna be right with his ass. Okay? You're gonna be right next to his ass. Eating motherfucking. Eating motherfucking. I don't know what they serve niggas in Hispanic jail. I have no clue. I would assume. It's pepper jack cheese and milk. <laughs> you want your pepper jack cheese sandwich, bitch, and some milk? Keep talking. Keep running your mouth on this internet. All that alkaline shit gonna be route. It's gonna be out out the line, out the window, bitch. You gonna be eating pepper jack cheese and five percent milk. <laughs> keep playing. You gonna be a long way from doctor. Say you keep running your bitch. You better get off the internet and denounce that nigga. That's what you better do. You better get on. If you don't get on the internet, and say anything. You better say you know what. I was under a spell. And I wasn't thinking right, and I don't agree with this shit. He was keep keep getting on this motherfucker, trying to act like you a ride or die. Keep keep getting on this motherfucker, trying to act like you a ride or die, and see where your ass be at. Okay, see, because if Nature Boy really fuck with you, and, and and he really wasn't selfish, what he what a real nigga would do is he would tell his girl to publicly denounce him. That's like if I'm selling drugs, I don't give a fuck if my girl know. The day I get knocked, I'm going to tell my girl, listen, you better get on the news and say, I don't give a fuck what you say. As long, I don't give a fuck what nobody think. As long as me and you got an understanding, that's what count. Get on the news and tell everybody you had no clue what I was doing and you don't agree with it. And that I should get everything I deserve. That's what you get on the news and you say. Because I need you to be free to make sure that our, ba our babies get raised right. I took a risk and I lost. That's what a real nigga would do. But Nature Boy not going to do that. Okay? Because he too narcissistic. So he wants you to ride or die and crash with him. And he wants you to keep getting out here on the internet and going higher and supporting a nigga that is being internationally charged. Bitch, you ain't never seen Mission Impossible? Do you know how serious it is for a motherfucker to be internationally looked for? Bitch, you never heard of Eric Snowden? This nigga Nature Boy is on the same radar as Eric Snowden when it comes to international criminality. Bitch, this ain't no motherfucking misdemeanor. This nigga is an international criminal. And you on this motherfucking internet willingly, continually supporting this nigga. What you think gonna happen to you? Bitch, stop watching TV. Bitch, this shit ain't Spongebob. This shit is real life. Bitch, you going to jail next, bitch. Keep getting on this motherfucker yapping your flappers. Now, hold on, y'all. Instagram telling me I got a minute, minute remaining. Everybody come back in. Everybody jump out and come back in. Jump out and come back in. All right, y'all. We back. We back. Let's go. We back. Let's get it. We back. 
We back. Let's go. I'm waiting for y'all to pull it back up. Y'all almost back. All right, we almost back. All right, now. Hold up. What's this? Send me some shit about an Airbnb. Hold up. Oh, okay. All right, we back. Everybody back. All right, y'all, I'm sorry I had to stop and look at my sugar baby real quick. Okay, we back. Let's ride. And so, uh, with that being said, somebody going to jail, bitch. Somebody going to jail, okay? I said this before, I'm going to say it again because it's funny as fuck. Remember when Paul Mooney made that joke about how, 12, how, how a motherfucker with 12 different personalities and they say pick which one you want to be because the nigga's going to jail? That, that's Nature Boy right now. Who you want to be? Elegio, Prada, Bishop. Tahuti, master teacher, chief. Who you want to be? The honorable. Who pick, pick, pick a nigga you want to be? Cause a nigga's going to jail today. Straight up. Let's keep it moving. This is what we came here to do. The same energy that these trolls are putting out to get him locked up, or is the same energy we need to have to get him out. And that's the only way that it's going to be done. You see what I'm saying? It's bigger than money. Money is just energy. Money is a catalyst to get... Ah, bitch, shut up. Now it's bigger than money. We'll stop asking for donations then, bitch. And meditate his ass out of there. How about that? Get a point B, and if you have money, and whatever you do with it will show who you are. It will show what type of heart that you have. You see what I'm saying? So, you can have all the money in the world and do the wrong thing with it. <laughs> what? What'd she just say? What'd she just say? You can have all the money in the world and do the wrong thing with it. I'm glad you said that, bitch, because y'all just definitely blew $300,000 in eight months. I'm glad you said that. I'm going to tell you what, bitch. Life. Life. Listen, they going to bang that hammer so hard on that nigga Thor going to come out. That motherfucker, that, that motherfucker going to come to court. And motherfucking Avengers music gonna be playing. How that shit go? Jun 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 jun. Bitch, you gonna come to court? Tony Stark gonna be in that motherfucker, and uh, Captain America gonna be in that motherfucker, and Thor gonna come out with that hammer and say, "Life." That bitch gonna be electrocuting and all kind of shit. That nigga gonna be like, "Life, boom." They gonna life that nigga with the boom. Boo, bitch, the Infinity Stone's not going to be able to snap that, snap you out of this one. Oh, a nigga's going to jail today. A nigga's going to jail today, bitch. Life. Life. Life, bitch. Next time you see Nature Boy, just sing this song when you walk in the visiting room. Jun, jun, jun. Jun, 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 jun. Sing that motherfucking Avengers song, okay? Sing that motherfucking Avengers song. Tell that nigga, we're in the end game now. <laughs> You're in the end game now. Next time nigga go to next time you go visit that nigga, tell that nigga, we're in the end game now. <laughs> yo, yo. Tell that nigga we're in the end game now. Tell that nigga Doctor Strange looked at all of the possibilities of him getting out of this shit. And there's none. It ain't even and there's only one. Out of fifteen point thirty seven million quadrillion and five motherfucking nanoseconds of of possibilities in time. There's none for you. Oh, a nigga's going to jail today. Dun, 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 dun. Somebody said that motherfucking U.S. Embassy said it's above me now. <laughs> let me pin that comment. It's I'm sorry, ma'am. It's above me now. Hold on. Let me put my chat on. This shit's so funny. Y'all keep distracting me from this fucking video I'm trying to go through. Let me put my chat on. Hold on. Hold on. Hi, this is Velvet from Carbon Nation, and we're calling about uh, the pedophile Elysio that you guys locked up. Who? The one that said that um that America was Babylon? 
And that the white man was the devil and that y'all shouldn't worship. Oh, I'm sorry. It's above, it's above me now. But he's locked up. And even though he denounced America and we said that y'all was Babylon and we told people that they should leave y'all and that we was God and wealthy woof, you should still come to his aid. I know that, ma'am, but you said we were Babylon. It's above me now. It's above me now. Ma'am, I know that. Mrs. Ileana, I know, I understand that he's your baby's daddy homosexual father. I know that. I know that. But he called, he said we're Babylon. It's above me now. I'm sorry, ma'am. You have to call um, nature. Bitch, call nature. <laughs> call nature. Bitch, you better call, you better call motherfucking, what's the name of that motherfucker off of Moana? Bitch, you better call Tafiti. Bitch, you better call nature. <laughs> it's only one motherfucker that could, that that can save nature boy right now, and that's that motherfucking volcano that turned back into that mountain at the end, that flowery mountain. Bitch, you better call Tafiti. That's who the fuck you better call. Bitch, you better call nature. That's who you better call. It's only one motherfucker that could get nature boy out of this right now, and that's nature. Okay, straight up. Let's get back to it though. Let's get back to moving. Here we go. And you can have all the money, money in the world and give it away because you know that other people need it just as much as you do. And deeper than that is that it's your exchange of energy and what you have to offer the world. You know, money is just a, a ticket. It's just a, a false imagery. Mind you, you have no money to take care of yourself or a, or a child. But you sitting here, you sitting here more worried about, she sitting here more worried about getting money to take care of a grown ass nigga who put himself in the position that he's in. And she, she, she ain't even went this hard to get money for her own daughter. When her daughter had that fucked up cough, she didn't even go this hard to make sure her daughter was healthy. You going more hard to support a nigga that was abusing your child than you were going for the health of your child. When we all clearly seen that your child was... Man, I'm so tired of this motherfucking Ratchiana. But let's keep it moving. It's a piece of paper. It's an illusion. But it act the actual meaning of money is energy. And what you do with your energy says everything about ah, who shut you up. are. Shut up. So we want to thank you. And Chief thanks everybody out there who's supporting him, who's sending their energy to get us where we need to be to see him free. Because at the end of the day, you know, he's given us a lot of energy. He didn't necessarily give us money. He gave us his energy. His ah, time, bitch, shut up. His, his wealth. He didn't give us shit. Yes, he stole he from everybody that. on the he internet, including me, and, so what we and, and made a coat off everybody's information, and brainwashed so you. Day, we want to thank everybody. Ah, right, shut up. Okay, let me flip this up. Let me flip this back to me now. Let me flip this back to me now. So this just goes to show that um, she bugged the fuck out, man. This shit just goes to show that she's bugged the fuck out, and that's what it is, dog. That's what it is. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. But let me tell you something, man. This is what happened when, when motherfuckers, with, 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 this is what, this is what happens when motherfuckers don't have, I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to say, I'm going to be nice today. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to tell you what. Bitch, I'm keeping my Babylon bucks. Okay, bitch. Okay. Remember that motherfucking joint off, uh, remember that motherfucking joint off Scare Straight? Where that inmate be like, I heard about you. We was waiting on you at the door. Okay? Bitch, we was waiting on you at the door. Bitch, I'm keeping my motherfucking Babylon Bucks, bitch. I'm not donating shit. I'm not donating shit. Straight up. Fuck that nigga. Where my motherfucking gavel? Make sure my shit, which side I wanna, which side is my good side? This my good side. Life, life. I hope they grit. I hope they grit their teeth when they get that nigga life. Like life, nigga. What life? Fuck wrong with you, nigga. Get your ass in that motherfucking cell. Get your bitch ass in the motherfucking cell. Get your bitch ass in that motherfucking cell. I don't even want them to be. I hope they don't be nice. Like you know how judges be trying to be calm when they send it to you, cause they be trying to act like they're not emotionally invested in the case. So they be trying to look you serious as hell. Like you ain't got 10 counts of murder and child abuse. And they be trying to be calm like, Mr. Jones, we sentence you to 15 counts of life for aggravated assault. 10 counts of this for that. 3 counts. I, I hope they hit that nigga like, you bitch ass nigga. You been running your fucking mouth, nigga. Life. 
Don't even worry about what the fuck we... Bitch, don't worry about what we said you did, nigga. Do this time, bitch. <laughs> oh, if they tell that nigga, you fuck-ass nigga. Oh, if they read that nigga shit just like this. Where's some paper? Where my paper at? Oh, you lucky. Hope they read that nigga paperwork just like this. Bitch ass nigga indictment number. Fuck out of here. 666. You've been charged with that fuck shit you've been running around here doing internationally, nigga. And we got something for your bitch ass. Life, nigga. What you being charged with, don't worry about it, nigga. Life. Ask nature with your bitch ass. <laughs> No, but you keep playing. Keep playing. You gonna go up there to visit that nigga one of these times, and your ass ain't gonna come out that visiting room, okay? Cause I'm gonna tell you something about Nature Boy. He's a bitch, okay? And by a bitch, I mean that nigga will definitely throw you under the bus if you think he won't. He's not no boss nigga like that, okay? Don't let that nigga have you fool. That nigga never been a street nigga. Cause most of these street niggas out here are not real niggas. So just cause you was, you was a street nigga don't mean you was a real nigga. He not a real nigga or a street nigga. Nature Boy will throw you under that bus. Nature Boy, if you did some shit or you participated, you think that nigga gonna say you didn't participate? You gonna fuck around and go visit that nigga one of these times and your ass ain't gonna come out that motherfucking visiting room? Okay? You not gonna come out that motherfucking visiting room? They gonna be like, Nature Boy, did you do this to that kid? He gonna be like, yup. And they gonna be like, well, where was, where was the mother? Shit, right there. Right there. And what you think gonna happen? What you think, like, you think he not about to crack? You think he not about to crack? They about to tell that nigga, what you want, nigga, life or 15 flat? If you want this 15 flat, you better tell us every motherfucking... Not only do you got to admit to what you did, you got to admit to what everybody else was doing, too. The shit we don't know. Huh? So when they start yapping y'all motherfuckers up, don't be surprised. And let me show you, this shit's so crazy. You snitched on Nature Boy, and you think we don't know. We know you went to the embassy and you confirmed their investigation. You the leading motherfucker. You the lead confirmation. You know, you the lead witness. Whether it was voluntary or involuntarily. You told on the nigga first. Uh, he told on himself right along. So y'all, wait. Y'all both told on each other first. He told on himself on camera. Then you told on him second. Okay? Then the videos told on him second and third. Okay? And now he finna tell on himself fourth and tell back on you. Come on, man. This shit crazy. This shit crazy. He told on himself on the internet. You told on him at the embassy. At the embassy, the videos confirmed what both y'all told on each other about. I mean, told on him about. And then he finna tell on his own self, thinking that it's gonna help his situation. And then in turn, he gonna tell back on you and everybody else. Then now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? The nigga be in charge with donation fraud. In a minute, they finna ask you, Velvet. I'm finna end on this. I'm not even gonna keep this too long. In a minute, they finna ask you, did you, were you aware that this nigga was getting donations? You can't say no, cause your stupid ass was pushing the link too. You finna get charged with donation fraud next. This nigga, let me tell y'all how stupid this dummy is. This nigga charged with donation fraud and this bitch on the internet asking for donations. What kind of dumbass bitch is you? Is you trying to go to jail? Bitch, you stole you a stupid ass bitch. You a dumbass. I wouldn't want you riding with me. I don't want no rider like that. This is why I told y'all I'm not just I'm not just in a rush with that polygamy shit. Cause I don't just want any old female that you was a dumbass bitch. What? This nigga charged with with motherfucking donation fraud and you on the internet asking for donations. What kind of stupid ass bitch is you? That's like a nigga go to jail for motherfucking shooting. And then you get on the internet talking about, and you know we coming back through that bitch, right? <laughs> what? What kind of stupid ass trick is you? So if you do got an attorney, what the fuck kind of attorney do you got that's not advising you to stay off the internet? What's wrong with you? Bitch, you dumb. You stupid. You don't even got your best, you don't even got your best interest at hand for your own self. That's how stupid you is. And you think you on this motherfucker showing strength. You think you on this motherfucker being a writer. All you doing is finna get yourself in the same predicament he's in. Okay? Because I'm going to tell you what, bitch. I'm not sending nothing. I'm not sending shit except for that picture I told you I'm going to send. As soon as I find out the address where he's at, I'm sending that nigga a picture of that motherfucker off of Simpsons that I said I was going to send. That say, hi, hi. And I would send him a middle finger, but you can't send pictures. You can't send hand gestures.
to jails. So I'm going to send him a motherfucking picture. But you stupid. You a stupid ass bitch. You dumb. I'm I'm a writer, and my name is Velvet, and yes, my nigga is a pedophile, and he's a fucking homo, and he's locked up for motherfucking donation fraud and money laundering and abuse and being a cult leader, but I'm gonna continue his cult, and I'm gonna get on the same internet that just got his stupid ass wrapped up, and I'm gonna ask for some fucking donations too, with my ratchet ass, cause I'm a ratchiana. You a fucking ratchiana. Sit your, sit your busted ass down. Sit your stupid ass down, bitch. Let me give you some advice. Get the fuck off the internet. That's what you do. Shut your motherfucking Instagram down for a minute. Make a new one for a minute. That's what you do. If you're going to stay on the internet, publicly denounce the nigga. Even if you don't mean... I'm giving you some game here, dumbass. I'm giving you some game. Okay? Publicly denounce the nigga. Even if you don't mean... Go visit him. Tell him that you're going to publicly denounce him. Okay? But let him know that it, that you still going to ride if you're going to really ride. And then get on this internet and publicly denounce that nigga so you don't get wrapped up too. That's what the fuck you do. Bitch, if you're not going to do that, get the fuck off the internet, bitch. You don't get on, you don't stay on this motherfucker trying to ride with it. Who the fuck is you? Who the fuck is you? You stupid. Y'all bitches dumb. You stupid, y'all. And by bitches, I don't mean, I mean y'all. I mean everybody over there in Carbonate, y'all awesome, some stupid ass bitches and y'all dumb. Any real nigga would have told you that before. If I'm, if I'm doing some shit I know that's illegal, I'm going to tell my female that shit before I get knocked. I'm going to let her know, listen, if I get knocked... Whether it's tomorrow or it's 10 years from now, denounce me. Straight up. Let everybody know you don't agree with my shit. To let everybody know you didn't know. I'm going to say you didn't know. And I'm going to go eat mine. Shit. Shit. And you take that little bit of bread I tucked off and you go live your best life. Just make sure I'm hot. That's what, that's what real niggas do. Okay? Not keep supporting me and come down with me too. You a retard. You a fucking dummy. You stupid. You not even putting your daughter first. That's how stupid you are. You sitting here, you sitting here, motherfucking, trying to support this nigga. You finna take your wet yourself out of the position to be able to care for your daughter, even though you are you don't do that. You do a horrible job at that. God damn. God damn. So, bitch, you dumb. Let me see what we talk. Oh, okay. Yeah, you stupid. Bitch, you stupid. You a ratchiana. You a you a fucking ratchiana. You a fucking ratchiana, and that's what you are. And you on this motherfucker talking about the chief this. The chief of who? The chief of what? Bitch, you's a Ratchiana. Have a seat, Ratchiana. Have a seat. Have a seat with your Ratchiana ass. All right, y'all. We, we Listen, we finna get out of here. We finna come right back. We finna get out of here. We finna come right back. I'm running out of time. We coming right back. Let's go. Hold up. I'm not done. Moose, I'm on your ass too. I'm on your ass too. I'm on your ass too, nigga. With your bitch ass. I'm on your bitch ass too. Let's keep it moving. I'm on your ass too. Okay? Because if y'all don't know, uh, it's some footage out right now. Of uh that Musa that that Musa leaked. Okay, they all caving on each other right now. They all caving on each other right now. It's some footage out right now that Musa leaked. The nigga, the nigga with the herpes. Okay, this nigga leaked some footage of Tron trying to keep somebody there against their free will because he was talking to his mom about him wanting to leave because of this law enforcement pressure. Okay, okay. Let me find it. Matter of fact. Let me find it for you. Hold on. Let me find it on my phone. I'm going to pull it up for you on here. Hold on. Give me one second. I got y'all right now. Y'all know, I, y'all know I'm not playing with these niggas. Y'all know I'm not playing with these niggas. Musa, you was talking all that shit, running your fucking flappers with your bitch ass, nigga. Okay? Like we didn't know. With your bitch ass. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm, I'm going to the video, nigga. You leaked it with your bitch ass. Let me go to it. Damn, where it go? Hold up. Is this it? I think this it right here. Hold on. Okay, we close. Here we go right here. Yep. Here we go. 
Let's go. Y'all ever see Mario? And he'd be like, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. With your bitch ass. Let me pull this shit up. Because you have my name in your mouth too. And you know how we rocking. Y'all niggas be flagging videos, so I be having to watch my mouth. But you know how we rocking, nigga. You can come back over here to the to the United States anytime you ready, nigga. And let me know how you feel. Okay? I'm going to have to drip you real quick, though, because you definitely got herpes. You're not about to be bleeding all over me. We're not doing all of that. But I can get you out of here real fast, though. Okay? So if you're feeling some type of way, let me know. Let me know what your bitch ass. Okay? What your bitch ass, nigga. Fuck is wrong with y'all niggas? Y'all niggas, y'all niggas straight hoes over there. Okay, and then got the, then got the nerve to be yapping your, yapping your motherfucking flappers. Okay? Then got the nerve to be yapping your flappers. Here we go right here. Hold on. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. Hoo, wee. Oh, shit, am I spelling it wrong? Let me see if I'm spelling it wrong. Oh, yep. Okay, don't. Turn. Me. Petty. Here we go. I found it. I found it. Y'all niggas dust buckets. Y'all some dust bucket assholes. Here we go. Now, now they, now they say... Okay, I got to say allegedly, all right? Wait a minute, let me sit, let me eat some of my motherfucking peanuts on y'all niggas. Hold up. Mm-hmm. Because I got to stay healthy. Got to stay strong on y'all bitch-ass niggas. So I can keep moving strong on y'all niggas. Let me eat my peanut one more time. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, let's go, bitch. I'm back. I'm back, bitch. Look. Now, this video right here is on Don't Turn Me Petty Page. Now, they say the nigga Musa took this video. Now, this is from inside the compound. This not, it's not no neighbor footage or none of that. So, either Musa took it or Velvet took it. But it is a fact, and I'm going to bring the receipts. Okay, Musa was talking to his mom about leaving because he didn't want to be over there no more because of all of this law enforcement shit. Now watch this. This is Tron trying to, force, trying to force somebody, one of the girls over there, okay, to motherfucking stay against their will. Now watch this. Look. See? You hear her saying, no move, let go of me. Look. See? See? Whoop. Here we go. Now, which one of y'all snake ass niggas filmed that? Which one? Y'all are velvet over to my, we a family. And we have family. Well, which one of your family members filmed, it, filmed that and put that out? Okay? And so, Velvet over there talking about, we don't know why motherfuckers is being charged. Bitch, you don't know why. Because if, if, if Tron wouldn't let her, wasn't trying to let her leave, imagine the shit Nature Boy was doing when motherfuckers were trying to leave. Did y'all forget that, that Nature Boy kicked another nigga out and he almost got killed? Because he got robbed at gunpoint with an AK-47? Did y'all forget that I did a whole interview with a nigga that was homeless in Mexico? Okay? Because Nature Boy making motherfuckers leave with nothing? So y'all niggas, y'all niggas, and she talking about, I don't know why that fuck that. I don't know why that fuck that. Bitch, you need, do you need a reminder, bitch, of why this nigga's in jail and why you right behind him? Keep playing, bitch, you about to be on the, the next train to the upper room. Bitch, you about to be on the next train to the upper room. You about to be on the next train to the upper room, the upper room, the upper room. Keep playing, bitch. Keep playing with your little gerbil face. I don't know why. I don't know why you like that. I'm the chief. 
I bet you're going to be chief this inmate number 5712. Get your stupid ass in that cell. Keep playing them games. Keep playing them games. Keep playing them games. Okay. Okay, y'all think I'm playing. I'm going to start letting y'all come in now. I'm going to let a couple of y'all come in. I just uploaded a new video on my main channel too. Y'all make sure y'all go check it out when y'all get off this. But uh, I'm going to let y'all come in. Jump in my request if you want to come in and weigh in. I'm going to let y'all know. Don't be long-winded on this one. I'm not going to be on here that long. But jump in this motherfucker request and weigh in and let me know what's up. Mm-hmm. Jump in that request. Once I see it's full, I'm going to let y'all in. Mm-hmm. 